Have you ever struggled to let go of your own expectations and fully trust in God's way, even when it didn't make sense? In 2 Kings chapter 5, we find Naaman, a powerful commander, facing a humbling challenge. His journey to healing reveals the power of obedience, humility, and faith. Today, let's dive into this story, discovering how God's ways, though different from our own, bring true healing and transformation. Insight 1. Recognizing our need for God's help. Naaman, a commander in the Syrian army, suffers from leprosy. Despite his power and position, he cannot heal himself. When a young servant girl suggests he seek help from the prophet Elisha, Naaman is faced with the reality that his wealth and influence cannot solve his deepest needs. His journey to Elisha's house is a step toward recognizing his dependence on God. Reflection. Like Naaman, we all have areas in our lives where our own strength falls short. God calls us to recognize our need for Him, inviting us to trust that His power can accomplish what we cannot. This story reminds us that no matter our position or accomplishments, we must come to God with humility, knowing He alone is our healer. Scripture verse. So Naaman went with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 9. Insight 2. Obeying God's simple instructions. Elisha sends a messenger to Naaman, instructing him to wash in the Jordan River seven times to be healed. At first, Naaman is offended, expecting a grand gesture from the prophet, but eventually he obeys, and his obedience brings healing. This shows that God's solutions may not align with our expectations, yet they are perfect in their simplicity. Reflection. Naaman's initial hesitation reminds us of times when we struggle to accept God's simple instructions, expecting something grand or complicated. God often works in ways that are straightforward, requiring only our trust and obedience. This story encourages us to surrender our pride and follow God's guidance even when it seems too simple. Scripture verse. But his servants came near and said to him, My father, it is a great word the prophet has spoken to you, will you not do it? Has he actually said to you, wash and be clean? 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 13. Insight 3. Gratitude and transformation through God's power. After his healing, Naaman returns to Elisha, filled with gratitude and proclaiming that there is no God but the God of Israel. His encounter with God transforms him, not only physically but spiritually, leading him to acknowledge God's sovereignty and power. Naaman's transformation shows us the power of God's healing, not only in our bodies but in our hearts and minds. When we encounter God's grace, we are changed, filled with gratitude and drawn closer to Him. This story encourages us to remember that God's blessings are meant to deepen our faith and bring us closer to His heart. Then he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and he came and stood before him. And he said, Behold, I know that there is no God in all the earth but in Israel. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 15. Lord, we thank you for the power of your healing and the gift of your guidance. Just as you led Naaman to humility and obedience, lead us to trust your ways, even when we don't understand. Help us to let go of our pride and surrender fully to your will, knowing that you alone are our healer. We ask for your touch over every need we bring to you today, trusting in your love and power. And Lord, we cover each viewer of this channel in the name of Jesus, asking that you bless them, guide them, and reveal your presence in their lives. May your spirit fill each heart with gratitude and faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this message spoke to you, type Amen in the comments. Share how God has shown His power and guidance in your life, and feel free to leave any prayer requests below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help us grow as a community rooted in faith. Together, let's walk in obedience, trusting that God's ways bring true healing and transformation.